This video is brought to you in part by TrueTech Tools, quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, we're going to check out an air conditioner for some uh, people. Kind of hot, I guess. Uh, I've been here once before. Had a heck of a time trying to figure out which one was which, so. Hopefully it's a little better label than it was last time. Let's see if I can figure this out. I wrote down on the units somewhere what the heck they were. I'm gonna guesstimate it could be this one here. This one sucks. Nobody labels anything. Probably can't label it honestly because of where we're at. Fan's working on that one. So I was able to call one of the guys that used to take care of this and he said it was the one with the exposed ductwork. So I've got this one here. I've got a J controller that's unhooked. The controls guys put in controls finally, so now we're not using thermostats uh, in the return air dock. And I'm trying to figure out, and he said they did not take control of the economizer, so it's like, okay, it's a little bit chilly out here. It's like, why would you undo that? So I don't think this has low ambient. So we got a call here from what I'm seeing. It's See if we got a uh, call to the board. Go Y1 to common. Got 24 volts, so she's not running. So it's, for whatever reason, locked out. My two don't exist. This is only a single stage unit. So, all right. Well, let's find out if that being unplugged, which I don't think it has much to do with it because it kind of just went from here to there, but I'm trying to remember what these wires did. I think that's my economizer controller. Yeah, mixed air temperature sensor. So they just unhooked it. So yeah, well, fans running. Let's see what else is not working. So the compressor has a little bit of heat from the crankcase heater. Compressor's here. It could run if it wanted to. Something's shutting it down. We don't know what though. And let's go see if they put the economizer jumper plug back in. And you would think they didn't utilize the economizer control. Tipping humidity. Looks like that's got crap on it anyway. Yeah, it's got corrosion, so it's probably junk. I look at the schematic, I'll figure out which one's Y1 and Y2 sending and receiving. DDC, T-STAT, reheat, which we ain't got, thermostat. So go into Y, comes down, connects to that blue. They just put a boatload of them all together, nothing really happens. Comes over to here plugs into that plug, eventually gets over here to the economizer. Usually one and two and three and four are your terminals that goes in there. I think Y and Y1 is going to be one and two, and then W or Y2 is going to be three and four. What it does, it goes into it and it may come out, may not come out. So let's go over there and see if we can find maybe the blue and the Blue and gray. I'm trying to think. Remember here, it's been a while. Don't know why the economizer wouldn't the control wouldn't have got fixed. Because honestly, it's like uh, for an application like this, you really want it. All right, there's a brown one and a blue one. Let's see if we got some voltage to ground. We'll just kind of cheat here a little bit. Usually not big for just probing one one particular one, but there's a brown one. Nothing on that one. Should have been a blue one here. No, I'm assuming maybe it was this one here. Got 24 volts on that blue one there. Yeah. Well, we can go grab a plug off my truck and we'll copy it. Makes it a lot easier. This is why whenever you take an economizer and put one in, you save the plug and you put it inside the unit so that you can just pop it right on again if you ever needed. So this is a jumper that comes from the factory with every unit that doesn't have an economizer. Let's 
let's go ahead and remove this hook that on there and look at that it's running match that so somebody unhooked it and didn't bother with that way to go all you gotta do is copy this one here so you've got the yellow one here and it goes over and connects to the orange one those two connect together da 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 the brown one and the one that doesn't exist there so we know mainly it just needs to be these two here so let's connect those two together i mean i'm not real sure why these aren't getting reconnected, they ain't replacing the controller, but I don't know, whatever. They just want the cooling to work and being that control uh, sensor is junk. Like I said, I mean, we, we'll hook it up just to see, but I mean, if that being there like that, there's no way for that to loop over and back again. So there we go. Take that, plug them together, and it don't run. Okay? So this didn't obviously have the jumper. We're gonna have to either get the right jumper or steal a wire off of one of these and make it work because we're missing a barrel plug here. So I basically copied the blue one the other one is this one here and this blue one right here so the blue one has to loop up there but unfortunately it don't do anything so what we could do is we could steal one of these other plugs let's transplant it have to get a, a a pin removal tool to get it off there but that's what we'd have to do so i might just go grab a pin removal tool real quick all right so i bought a big old mess load of these And the reason why I'm not just chopping off the other plug is because, you know, there's a good chance I may want to rehook some of this stuff. And I don't want to damage the main plug if they choose to do that. So, like I said, we're just going to pick one that's not being used. destroy it none that's good it may just have to pull harder i don't know i've never done that on this particular one i've done it mainly on like hot surf igniters you see this is mainly the female so let's go down here to the one below it which is right here locks in good go ahead and strip this and we'll hook it to the other the other terminal which is the blue which, I, you know, I don't know what was connected to this originally. I don't hate to chop it off and they may need that extra link there, but I'll just leave it ugly and long. Okay, now it should work. You can feel the warmth down there, that's for sure. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, these come in handy. You can get them on Amazon. Let's see if I can put a link down below. If people just be smart and leave these, that, that would have made it the simplest. Go ahead and check our suction pressure real quick. Looks like we're about 110. We got the door off here, so obviously it's gonna throw off the head pressure, but it's cool today. Go to 110 pounds comes in 36 degrees i mean obviously that'll change a little bit when we put the door back on but 
seems to me that it's working. Um, now what's really interesting is you've got capability of actually two stage after all, so you're never even getting that. It's only running with uh, one stage. That's nice. That's, that's really nice. Guess uh, may need to jump that, huh? Okay, so out of giggles here, this is gonna shut her down. There you go. I wanted to see if this thing gets uh, power, if it'll, see it says economizer. That one obviously goes to that. This really should probably go to the manual module. Let's see if it gets powered up. Come on, Jade. There's Jade. Jade's waking up. Jade's, Jade works, so why didn't Jade get left hooked up? That's what I wanna know. All right, let's hook up the other one here. Yep. Let's go down here and see what the status is. See if it's finding that outdoor sensor. Heck, maybe the outdoor sensor's okay. Let's go to status, available, no. Economizing, no. Occupied, yes. Oh, there goes heat, that's good. Y1, Y2. All right, well, obviously that's not gonna fly. All right, status update. So I found out that this supposedly works. Somebody was out here in the winter, had some problems with heat or something, I don't know, but the sensor was bad, the one I thought was probably bad, and put on the paperwork that we're gonna change it in the spring. Well, it's spring and it needs change. So I gave them the information because it got uh, misplaced and wouldn't have been known because this is why I don't know. This is the reason why I always try to do everything immediately and get it done and over with and not try to fool around doing it later. It's cold, but sometimes it's just better to get it done and get it out of the way. Um, flipping the gas back on, throw our meter or gauge back here. Um, I had to mark the wires where they're at on the economizer because when the person comes back to do it, they're gonna have to match those up. And since I switched those prongs, I tried to switch them with one that may not have been used and that broke off on me. So, you know what, it's at this point, they're just gonna have to wire directly around the plug harness and, and be done with it. I'm gonna let them finish that part up. That's what's going on. Just something happened from the winter time. This is, these are the ones where they used to be controlled by thermostats in the ductwork. So there's all kinds of leftover wires from 25 times ago. I also got the second stage hooked up to the board so as long as the control guys did their part and did that correctly programming wise it should bring it on when it needs it it first at first it was sitting there energizing also it's 211 212 ish they had that on the lower voltage so he's running like 23.4 20 whatever switch that around we're running 26 volts anyhow on to the next one